This Russian destroyer is on its last important mission. It's headed for the Cayman Islands in the Caribbean Sea. No, it's not sailing off to war, but the Cayman government does plan to sink it. Why, you may ask? Well, the people in the Cayman Islands are dedicated to protecting their coral reefs, and that's why they came up with this wild plan to sink this giant ship. You see, there are so many scuba divers now that many coral reefs are getting overcrowded. And when they get crowded, they can get damaged. And it takes a long time for corals to fix the damage. After all, it can take corals about 100,000 years to build a reef. But people can do it much faster. Creating a new artificial reef can be as quick as sinking a ship. The Cayman government hopes that after they sink the destroyer, a lot of divers will come to explore it. This will help to reduce the crowds on nearby coral reefs. But first, the ship must be prepared for sinking. Environmentalist and filmmaker Jean-Michel Cousteau supervises and documents the process. The tower has to be removed. It's too tall, and if it went down with the ship, it would create a navigational hazard that could cause other ships to sink. It's a big job. Some passages have to be sealed off so divers don't get trapped. Other passages are open to allow divers to explore. And any toxic or poisonous materials must be removed so as not to pollute the clear waters. Finally, the ship is ready for sinking, and the workers start to pump it full of water. Jean-Michel Cousteau has an idea. He wants to ride the ship on its voyage to the bottom of the sea. It may be dangerous, but he can't resist. And if he makes it, it'll be a lot of fun. Ready? Set. Wait. And wait. And wait. The ship just won't go down. It looks like Jean-Michel is all dressed up with nowhere to sink. And nothing to drink. It gets later. And later, even the sun is sinking. Then, all of a sudden... Down she goes. Like any good roller coaster, the wait was too long and the ride is over too soon. But the adventure continues. Time to snoop around. The shipwreck is a pretty spooky place, so Jean-Michel is glad to see a friend from his team. Together they make the rounds, but they're not the only ones. Before you can say Titanic, they discover sea creatures starting to explore the wreck. This barracuda is the first arrival. The Stingray and Jack are just as curious. After all, it's not every day a big ship comes falling out of the sky and lands on your block. These propellers were already covered with barnacles, but the snappers are new arrivals. Groupers are territorial, and this one has already staked a claim. This is home sweet home. The ship may be sunk, but it's not dead. It has a new life as a man-made reef, helping coral reefs get a well-deserved rest. This ship of war finally rests in peace. <laughs> <laughs>